Saving small amount of money here and there is not what investing is all about. Rather, it is a starting point for gaining the discipline to control your spending. Let's think of this as a starting point. Hey guys, it's your boy Young Diamond. Welcome once again to this channel. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about the concept of how to control your spending. Now, when we talk about saving, checking your expenses, checking the things you spend money on, how little things can become big savings, and all this boils down to you know, control and discipline on your spending. So a good way to find out how you know you spend your money is to track your expenses for a month. Record every single penny spent. And also you check for unnecessary deductions from your bank that you might not be aware of. Now when it comes to little things adding up to become something big, although it is not what investment is all about, but rather an illustration or a starting point, you know, for gaining the discipline to control that your spending. Because so many people have no self-control when it comes to spending. That is why the moment their paycheck comes in, they just spend. Not until the money is almost depleted or is almost finished, they won't come to the consciousness or the realization of what they've done with their finance or with their money. But so many people, when the money comes and they've used it, at the end of the day, they start borrowing to be able to balance or meet up with the nearest needs that they want. So it is important and it is a starting point to identify what we spend money on. Sometimes it might not be necessary. You know, fixing the leakage, making it work, it is very important. Which is why you have to track your expenses for a month. Record every single penny spent within the time frame of 30 days, 31 days. And you also check for necessary deduction that might occur in your bank accounts. You know, people would maybe surprised, you know, to find out that the expenses that they can cut or they can, you know, do away with without even depriving themselves the basic little things of life. It is because we don't keep track of whatever we spend our money on. That is why sometimes it's just normal for us to spend. That is why sometimes it's just normal for us to, you know, put our money and just spend it on things that we want to spend it on. So the moment you keep track of your spending, you'll be surprised to find out that there are so many things that, you know, when you remove them out, You'll be able to live your day-to-day -day life without it. The drive to save is always stronger when there is a goal that you want to work with. So after you identify these expenses and you are able to do away with so many of them, and then you are able to come up with a goal and a plan action well written down, then the drive to save will be stronger. So many people are not able to save, not because they don't want to save, because they don't know what they want to save for. That is why in my previous video, I talked about the purpose of why you should save and invest should be defined. So it is on that definition that we boost your self-esteem or your moral esteem or your financial esteem to save to achieve that goal. So when you have a goal, it is more stronger, you know, to say because you want to achieve it. But the moment you live your life without just even thinking about anything, you know, the moment the money comes, it goes. But when there is a financial goal, when there is a plan, the moment the money comes, you already know what you are doing with that money. And the propensity to save will be higher than the propensity to consume. Because why? Goals are driven by desire. And that desire comes with saving. 
So you could be saving or you could have a goal to buy a house. You could have a goal to set up a business. Probably you have a goal that is a hobby that you want to do or some certain things you want, some hobbies you want to do that you are saving, you know, that you want you plan to achieve. And also your retirement. You know, these are certain goals that, you know, comes to play in the mind of achieving. You know, when these goals are well written out and the plan laid, the propensity to achieve this goal, to be consistent, is always stronger than when you don't have. So it is better and important that you have a goal, your personal goal for yourself. And you should remember little things and become big. The things you spend money on that you feel is just a token and become big. Keeping a track of what you spend your money on on a monthly basis can help you streamline unnecessary expenses. Thereby, Adding up to become big values. Until we meet again, it's a boy, young diamond. Remember, keep track of your expenses. Little things can become big if well acted upon. Until we meet again.